We now want to look at an introduction to dial antine geometry, which is a subject of finding points on algebraic curves whose coordinates are rational numbers. Such points are called rational points on the curve. So one example is the unit circle. That's an example of an algebraic curve. So what we want to do is find all rational points on the unit circle x squared plus y squared equals 1. So we want to find a way to generate these rational points. So some of them we already know. The x and y intercepts, for example, the x and y intercepts on the unit circle are given by these four ordered pairs. They, of course, are rational points. So let's start with one of them. The, the, the point we're going to start with is one of the x-intercepts, negative 1, 0. And let's choose some rational number m. And m is going to be the slope of the line going through the point negative one zero. Now, of course, there's more than one line that goes through the point negative one zero and having slope m. We will see that in a minute. So the line L in point slope form. Notice that this is point slope form because you see the the point that we're starting with is negative one zero. So y minus y1 is just y, because y1 is 0 in this case. So anyway, the line L in point slope form is y is equal to m times x plus 1. Where did we get x plus 1? Well, x plus 1 is x minus x1. x1 is negative 1. x minus negative 1 is x plus 1. So... We will now show that this line intersects the circle in a second rational point. So it's helpful to draw a graph. Okay, so this is the unit circle x squared plus y squared equals 1. Right here is the point negative 1, 0. So I just drew one example this is of some line L. You see that as m changes, we, we could rotate this line about the point negative one zero. <clears throat> but in any case, what's going to happen is this line is going to intersect the circle a second time, the first time being negative one zero. So the, to find this point of intersection, we need to solve the system. Well, one constraint, of course, is that the point has to be on the circle x squared plus y squared equals one. And also, this point has to be on the line y is equal to m times x plus 1. So we're going to solve this nonlinear system for x and y. And nonlinear systems, quite often, but not always, we'll solve the system by using substitution. So what we'll do is we'll substitute y equals m times x plus 1 into equation 1. So in place of y squared, I'm going to have m squared times x plus 1 squared. So this is equation 1 with y being replaced with m times x plus 1. So if I subtract 1 from both sides, I get x squared minus 1 plus m squared times x plus 1 squared. We'll want to do now is solve this equation for x. It'll be in terms of m. So notice that I can factor. You see, x squared minus 1, that's a difference of squares. x squared minus 1 can be written as x plus 1 times x minus 1, and we still have plus m squared times x plus 1 squared. Common binomial here is x plus 1, so factoring out x plus 1, I get x minus 1 plus 
m squared times x plus 1. So this, this equation right here, this last equation is satisfied whenever, you know, using the zero product rule, x is equal to negative 1, or if this quantity in the bracket is equal to 0. Now, x equals negative 1. That was our original point that we started with. That, that We already knew that. So that confirms something we already knew. So to get the x-coordinate of this other point, you know, this other point being right here, what we have to do is we have to solve this other equation for x. It can be done. So I want to solve now x minus 1 plus m squared times the quantity x plus 1 equals 0. So what we'll do is we'll get all the terms involving the x on one side, get, you know, combined like terms. What we have on the left-hand side end up being x times the quantity m squared plus 1. And the right-hand side is going to be 1 minus m squared. So solving for x, we get x equals 1 minus m squared over 1 plus m squared, where m is any rational number. Remember what we're doing. We're trying to find rational points on the circle. So we're almost done. We need to now get the y-coordinate. So the easiest thing to do is use the equation of the line. y is equal to m times x plus 1. Now keep in mind, we already know what x is. x is 1 minus m squared over 1 plus m squared. So, replacing x with 1 minus m squared over 1 plus m squared, we get our equation for y, which can be simplified. Let's do a little bit of algebra. y ends up being 2m all over 1 plus m squared. So, all rational points on the unit circle x squared plus y squared equals 1 are given by either negative 1, 0, or this order pair, which is in terms of m. So we have 1 minus m squared over 1 plus m squared is the x-coordinate. The y-coordinate is 2m over 1 plus m squared, where m is any rational number. So this process can be repeated for other situations. For example, a different circle or maybe an ellipse. So you'll see what I'm talking about when you do the homework.